We are holding a tracted in the Dorim. We, we, I just want to mention something that uh, I saw yesterday, and I think it's a, a very uh, important thing to remember. We spoke about the evils of anger in Tractate Nadorim. So it ended off, it says that uh, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak said that the fact that he becomes angry is an indication that his sins outnumber his merits. If someone is capable of getting of becoming angry, it's, a, in, it's an indication that his sins outnumbers uh, his, uh, his merits. For it says, a hot-tempered man commits many offenses. So it shows that. That was a... Uh, and automatically, the, that's what I mean the, about it? Yeah. So he has more, more sins than merits, the, the one who gets angry. Now, the title today, it says the importance of the mitzvah of Mila, of circumcision. The Mishnah says, Rabbi Lozor ben Azariah said, the foreskin is so repulsive that it is a term used to disparage the wicked. For it disparage the wicked. Thank you. For it says, for all the nations are uncircumcised. Arelim, and the house, uh, and the house of Israel is of uncircumcised heart. Their heart is not circumcised. That's the, that's the dullness that we mentioned before, that after no. being exposed to these things so many <laughs> times, then be, people become uncircumcised. Their heart is uncircumcised. It doesn't feel anything anymore. Yeah. And the house of Israel is of uncircumcised heart, Jeremiah 9.25. <laughs> Rabbi Ishmael said, the mitzvah of Mila is so great that 13 covenants were made on it. In Genesis 17, uh, 1 and 21, the chapter where Avram is given the mitzvah of Mila, the word bris, or brit, covenant, occurs 13 times. Rabbi Yossi said the mitzvah of Mila is so great that it sets, it sets aside the laws of Shabbos. You're not allowed to... Uh, you're not allowed to excrete blood or have uh, blood comes out of you on Shabbos. But bris, you're allowed to. The, so bris overrides Shabbos. Mila, which entails the forbidden labor of causing a wound, is performed on Shabbos. Rabbi Yeshua ben Korcha said, the mitzvah of Mila is so great that when Moshe neglected it, he was, he was not given a reprieve, even for a single hour. A reprieve. 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 Yeah, reprieve. The Gemara will discuss this later. Rabbi Nehemia said the mitzvah of Mila is so great that it pushes aside the law that forbids removing a leprous spot. Because if the spot is on the foreskin, it may be removed together with it. <laughs> Rabbi said, or Rabbi said, the mitzvah of Mila is so great that Avram, our father, in spite of all the mitzvahs he fulfilled, was not called perfect until he circumcised himself. For introducing, introducing the mitzvah of Mila, God said to Avram, walk before me and become tomim, become perfect. Genesis 17.1. Another proof, the mitzvah of Mila is so great that if not for Bris Mila, the Holy One, blessed be He, would not have created His world. For it says, Thus said God, If not for my covenant, Brisi, day and night, a reference to Bris Mila, I would not have set up the laws of heaven and earth. Jeremiah 33.25 Rabbi said, The mitzvah of Mila is so great that it equals all the all other mitzvahs in the Torah put together. For it says, this is the blood of the covenant, bris, that God is making with you regarding all these words. So we see the greatness of the mitzvah of bris mila. 
tomorrow is actually going to speak about uh, the incident with Zipporah, what the Gemara has to say about it.